Hello and welcome to a very quick video here. Um, yeah, it's Christmas time. As you can see here, Christmas tree's up. Um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff in here, a lot of different Megatron, Skeletor, you know, a whole lot of different stuff in a tree for decorations. As you can hear the squeaky noise over there, that would be Brock running around with his squeaky toy. Um, the purpose of this video actually is pretty simple. Um, as you can know by watching YouTube lately, the uh, formats have gone from the 4-3 square uh, aspect ratio to the 16-9 widescreen. So since on my camera I do have a widescreen option, although albeit I don't think it's very good, I want to try to make a video, do the widescreen thing, and just put it up and see kind of what it looks like. So this is pretty much like a test video. But while I'm in front of the camera, I'm going to take this chance to address a question that I get asked pretty much every day, either on my videos or through my AskKevAnything.com website. Uh, people are asking me, Kev, what do you think now, after a few months, of the new brand new day storyline? Um, now it's been a few months of Spider-Man, what do you think about it? Um, first thing I want to say with the brand new day storyline, it's still not good. Um, as you remember in my one more day, my brand new day rants, I was pretty, pretty energetic about the fact that I didn't like the way that Marvel was going with this. And I still don't like the way that Marvel's going with this. They can argue that they're selling a lot of books. Now the only reason why Amazing Spider-Man is selling so good is because uh, there is no... is that there is no more competition in the Spider-Man world. You don't have a spectacular Spider-Man or sensational Spider-Man, a web of Spider-Man, all those other titles. So people who were collecting all the titles before are buying Amazing Spider-Man now, instead of buying Amazing Spider-Man, Web Spectacular, and all the other titles. People who were collecting Amazing Spider-Man before are still buying Amazing Spider-Man now. So pretty much all they did is take these two demographics and put them together. Sure, it's going to look like you're selling more books, but in reality, are you selling more Amazing Spider-Man titles today than you were selling Amazing Sensational, Web, uh, Spectacular, whichever it was, all these titles together before? That's the real question, and I don't think it's selling more than it did before all the separate titles or just, just this Amazing Spider-Man. I love the fact that Amazing Spider-Man comes out three times a month. Love it. That's an idea that I totally agree with. I like the fact you cancelled the other titles and are just keeping Amazing. That's neat because that way you don't have to wait a month to continue your story. You know, with the exception of sometimes they do crossovers before and it was a spectacular and all that stuff. But you don't have to wait and that's awesome. That way I don't have to wait a month and kind of forget half the story and then start reading this news, you know, this continuation. I get a continuation pretty much every week, which is awesome. Problem is, by shitting and screwing up the whole continuity of the book, before this relaunch, it kind of leaves me at all. I'm kind of getting the, what I want, you know, getting it three times a month is good, but I'm also getting what I don't want, which is pretty weak storylines. Now, the only storylines that have been really okay or good at this point are the ones that involve old villains, such as the uh, new ways to die with Venom, the Green Goblin, and the new Anti-Venom. And also, the uh, latest storyline isn't that bad with the Shocker in it. But all these other storylines that they made with... Um, this, uh, what's his name again? Menace, or the Grey Goblin, or where the hell he is, Menace. Um, Brock's got a squeaky toy. Uh, Paper Doll, uh, I don't remember half of the villains that were in it. Freak. All these weird guys, you know, they're just, they're not really good villains at all. And, although the new Hammerhead's kind of cool, but it's still Hammerhead. You know, Mr. Negative all this stuff, you know, it's, they're not good villains, and those aren't the villains that'll sell the books. The big storylines thus far have been the ones with the old villains, and 
I kind of like the fact that Marvel is stirring towards that route right now with the older villains. I hope they stay that way for now. Um, I guess the big question of all of this brand new day, people are asking me, well, what's the difference now? You know what I mean? Like it's, you know, they're battling old villains and all that. I'm still trying to contemplate in my head, why is Harry Osborn alive? I still don't get that. You know what I mean? Like, there's some things, you know, they said, okay, well, just consider it like this, okay? Everybody just forgot who Spider-Man was. They forgot his identity. Everybody just forgot. Fine! You know, if everybody just legitimately did forget, fine, I can deal with that. What I can deal with is bringing old characters back to life for the sake of the storyline because it makes no sense. So we know that the Green Goblin killed Gwen Stacy. Why? If he doesn't know Peter Parker is Spider-Man, why did he kill Gwen Stacy? What are the odds? Out of all the people in New York, he picks the one that's going out with Spider-Man. Is that just part of the Parker lock? And let's assume that, the, that we know that that night that Harry witnessed his father getting killed and apparently helped him, you know, escape away for a while, you know what I mean, overseas and all that. And then he became the Green Goblin you know, in his father's place. Knowing that Peter was Spider-Man, you know, that's what kind of fueled the rage. He doesn't know that either. So how did the Green Goblin, how did Harry become the Green Goblin? You know, and subsequently get killed afterwards. But then again, he never was killed. But he still did become the Green Goblin according to the story line that's going on in uh, New Ways to Die. So everything is just convoluted. It's sticky, it's messy, it doesn't really make much sense. Um, I just think seriously it was just a big screw up to actually go this route. You know, I don't, I don't mind the fact that it's new Spider-Man stories and all that, fine. You know, you could have done this by simply making maybe Peter and MJ just separate for a while, you know what I mean? Have them separate. You know, but having, having Mephisto get involved in all this, as I said before, it was stupid. Even, I don't know, how long has it been? Like, a, almost a year into it now. Into this new ways, uh, into this brand new day stuff. And the story still doesn't really make any sense. And they said they were going to explain things as we went, and they never really did. At least, I don't feel like I got any just explanation about what the fuck happened. Seriously. And uh, the other thing, this whole jackpot thing, and then, then putting jackpot, and people thinking, oh, it's Mary Jane, and then, no, it wasn't Mary Jane all along, you know, it's just some fucking druggie, you know what I mean, doing these steroid shit. Like, seriously, that could have gone both ways the whole time, and I think Marvel knew that. Marvel's like, you know, well, we can say it's Mary Jane, or we can say it's somebody totally different, you know? We'll just keep her around for a while, then after, boom! You know, we'll let them know, like, okay, no, it wasn't really Mary Jane. Ha, 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 you guys thought it was Mary Jane. It could have been Mary Jane. All the signs pointed to Mary Jane. They didn't throw us a swerve ball by saying it wasn't her. For all we know, it was supposed to be her, and then they just changed their mind. Or they knew all the while, and they were like, oh, we'll change, maybe we'll change our mind, maybe we won't. Like, I don't feel uh, Jackpot not being Mary Jane a twist or a curveball in any way, shape, or form. All it does is pretty much solidify the fact that I don't think Marvel knows what they're doing with this storyline. That's just my opinion. Now, not to not Marvel Comics, I love Marvel Comics. But I just wish that they wouldn't have fucked with the Spider-Man continuity. So yeah, hopefully this looks good in 16.9. Right screen. So uh, a lot of videos coming your way uh, in the next few months, next few weeks actually, or even this week, who knows. Uh, a lot of good stuff, a lot of good reviews, a lot of good one-on-ones, some stuff that the fans have been asking for for a long time is coming. And uh, so keep watching, keep spreading the word of Decompose around the internet, and uh, take care guys. Later.